Hey guys, Easter eggs, Christmas bonuses, and secrets of my synth. But first, say hello to Blossom. In the classroom style lesson that we're about to do, we're going to discuss the different types of memory and how to utilize them within your FA06. But first of all, to see if you have used your two memory slots or to put things in them or to remember what's in them, what do you do? You press menu, you go to system, and then you come right across to the information tab. There it is at the end. We see here that I have system version 2.00. Of course, uh, version 2.01 is out, but I haven't bothered to put it in. But what's more interesting, you see that in slot 1, I have EXP10 orchestra collection. And in slot 2, I have EXP03 world collection. That does not use up any of your user memory. All those instruments that you have put in behave like additional presets. So now, in addition to having a presets, you come down here and you see you have the GM2, uh, General MIDI 2, and now you see that you have voices in here which are EX03 and the voices which are EX10. So those uh, voices are ensemble string voices that come from that world orchestral collection and uh, from that world instruments. So they, they just, once you've installed them into the slots, um, extra instruments will appear and you'll know which one they come from because they will be, uh, they will have their own unique identifier. Now it's important to understand that Roland memory space is allocated whether you use it or not. So it has a certain number of fixed memories for all the various things and if you want to exceed that, well you'll have to back up 512 studio sets in the machine at any one point in time. Those are user studio sets. Now we know that from the right menu we can save studio sets, tones and songs. What you may not know is the other things that you can save. Well, the other things that you can save be besides tones and it's important to realize that the drum kits are considered to be tones it's just they play a little differently and they're saved uh, on a specific, they're used on a specific part, but they are basically saved as tones. So the other things that you can save other than that is rhythm patterns, rhythm groups, arpeggio styles, and if you want to save rhythm patterns or rhythm groups, you just press the rhythm here and uh, you can in fact write. See here is write. If you press on write there you have from 1 to 20 user groups. So you can save up to 20 separate user groups of rhythm patterns directly from this uh, rhythm screen by just pressing down the shift and going right. Now if you want to do uh, pattern editing, then uh, what you need to do is press on the pattern edit button. And when you do that, it's going to carry you to the pattern editing screen. And when you press on right from that, you can save up to 120 patterns. So you have 120 memories in which to save your own unique patterns and I've only used one so far but I'm going to use up the others to be sure. Menu here allows us to set the, if we go to the studio set common, select studio set common, under the general tab we can select 
our part for the pads and our part for the drums. Now obviously when we select the part 10 for the drums, we get drum compression and EQ and it's expected that we will load one of the drum uh, kits into that particular uh, part in order to take advantage of that. Uh, the track that you use is stored with the studio set so potentially every studio set could have a different drum track part or a different part number for the pads. So here is just a quick review. You can go to axial.roland.com. You can use song packs for either the FA 06, 7 or 8 or you can use Integra 7 song packs. But you can only have two of them in your FA at any time and changing them is not practical in a live gig environment. Your two song packs have their own memory space and do not use up your user memory slots. You can watch my video how to use expansion packs with Roland FA06 synth. That will show you how to get them and put them in. Your user memory allows you to save your own tones, rhythm groups, studio sets, drum kits, arpeggios. And uh, here we have listed the tones including the drum kits because they are treated just like tones and they're in the tone list and you save them the same way. So here is the maximum number of available memory slots that we have. We have 256 memory slots for the uh, acoustic supernatural tones. We have 512 for the supernatural synth tones. We only have eight supernatural drum kits. We have 256 PCM synth tones and we have 32 PCM drum kits. So as you can see, that is, should be more than adequate. Should you need more than that, you'll have to actually um, back up your synth and um, free up what's there and do another set. A drum kit uses any of the other tones from the other categories, but has a different tone on every key. So basically, the percussion and drum sounds are just normal tones, but within the drum kit, they're assigned to specific keys. But it also has features like compression and equalization that can be applied to individual drums or groups of drums. And that is tied to the particular part that we make for drums as I showed you earlier in the uh, studio set common. So you save that particular part for drums within the studio set and within the studio set you can set up your EQ and compression groups for your drums. So obviously you're going to load a drum kit tone, if you want to call it that, tone in inverted brackets, onto the particular part that you have assigned to the uh, drums because it doesn't make sense using a drum kit on a any other type of um, part. The, the part the drum kit part has to be, be used with the drum kit part within the studio set to make use of the compression and EQ. Now to set those channels parts you just press the menu select studio set common use the general tab and you can set the part number that you want to use for drums and the part number that you want to use for pads. Normally the drums is on 10 and the pads is on 16 by default but it doesn't have to be that way. You will put the drum kit tone of your choice onto the drum part for drums and then you'll be able to use the compression and EQ which I told you already but I'm gonna make more videos showing you how to do proper drums on your FA06, how to set your compression, combine your drum groups, and EQ your drums. EQing of drums is very important. That's why this here is included. Finally, back to the user memory slot category. You can save up to 512 studio sets 
so you're not likely to run out of studio sets. You can save 120 of your own custom rhythm patterns, and you can combine rhythm patterns into 20 rhythm groups. The rhythm groups are only helpful when you're making a song to have the patterns that you're using for that one song grouped in one place. But on track 10 or whatever uh, track you're using to actually record your drums, you will probably not be bothered. So you, a rhythm group, you might use more than one rhythm group, although a rhythm group holds six patterns. So if you need more than six patterns in a song, then you'll have to use more than one rhythm group. And finally, the arpeggio styles, which we looked at in the last video, you can only have 16 of your own. There are lots of preset styles there, but you can have 16 of your own user arpeggios, which would normally be phrases. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.